Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to The Witcher 3. We are back here in uh, the Meyersdorf family plantation here, where we have just received a contract to chase down an apiarian phantom, who Geralt obviously believes to be a wraith of some description. We are about to follow the uh, the son, one of the sons, I think it was Hugo, um, to find the location of where the phantom had last appeared, and we're going to do a bit of investigation. So let's see where this where this leads us. Is a beekeeping superstition. You mismanage the Franklin's with us as well. Franklin the and um He destroys the eyes and kills Bernie. The right, Franklin and Bernie. So no one can use these noble creatures for ignoble purpose. Sick to your bees on the competition, eh? No. Father recently signed a contract with the Redanians. So the phantoms from Nilfgaard. Ha <laughs> They're playing the long game with their, uh, with their, with their subterfuge and sabotage the, uh, the, the North Guardians, aren't they? This is the place. Here's where the Phantom killed the farm. Oh Christ! You can see all the ice on the floor. It's very apparent. Covered in frost. Cold must have killed the bees. What's that on the floor there? Blood. Dried and blackened, so several days old. That must be where the farmhand died. Farm died. Thank you, girl. Uh the mm. Phantom has got these clues will eat me. And it's pretty damn heavy. Okay, so we'll follow these tracks. Tracks disappear in the water. Doubt anything's hiding in this puddle they call a lake. Need to check the other side. See if the trail goes on. So it's the area around the lake using your Witcher senses, so we need to go over here somewhere. Through this absolute hive of drowners. Oh, there's a drowned dead, level 18. Shit the bed. Hang on. There's more than one of them as well, right? This is gonna be tricky. Nice. But they didn't destroy the hives. No, I don't think the drowners have the ability to summon frost like uh, like whoever did this uh, does. Right, as we were. Oh, here we go. Here's the tracks. So the tracks go this way. Seemingly. Oh, they go this way towards these ruined buildings. Squeeze through here. Gotta find another way in. Because I'm in the area. And so, okay, so we've got to get in the basement of this place. No doubt this will be much easier said than done. There's a well there. We we do. Oh, we can't go down there. So we have uh, we have used wells to get underneath buildings before, but not in this instance. There's ungodly amounts of dwarven spirit here as well, so this is. N we're never going to be wanting for uh, replenishing substances for our potions. Uh, right. Oh, this is. Geralt's customary shadow boxing begun. Yeah, there we go. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, you carry on. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. go on, Geralt. Go on, Geralt. You can do it. Getting ahead of myself with my uh, button commands. Right. So here. Is where the basement opens up. It's locked. Wraith, can you let me in, please? I got the key right here. Oh. My father began building this house for Bernie, but ran out to coin. He's been standing half finished since. Wonderful hiding place for whatever destroyed your hives. I'm going in. You go home and bar your door. Who knows what might come out of there? Okay, well, we are going to head right in there. Thank you, Franklin. Open the basement. Can we... Do we have to art ourselves? Do we have to art it? Nope. Did he put the key down on the floor? There we go. Right. Ooh, there's the Apiarian Phantom. The Hound of the Wild Hunt. Ah, it makes sense. The frost. Oh shit! It's got. It's gotten loose. Roach will run you down. It's gotten loose. It's got. Hey, hey, Roach, 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 Roach. Come on, girl. 
We gotta catch this fucking hound. It's a fucking wild hunt hound. Of course, the frost, it, it made so much sense. I mean, it doesn't seem to want to stop for us, nor, nor can we, are we seemingly able to actually attack it currently. It's a very odd thing for the, a wild hunt troop to be doing, not gonna lie, but... Yeah, I don't I don't think we, we can do anything with this 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 hound at the moment. We just have to kind of chase it until it stops. It's running towards the windmill. Now it's just running all over the place. Oh there we go. Now it's Okay. So I'm not too sure. What this thing is weak to. Just gotta keep on the attack. Whoa. Let's quen ourselves just in case. How about we try and use a bit of Igni? Igni might be efficient against it. If in doubt, Igni. Ooh, okay. There goes our Quen. Igni. Nice. Nice. Oh boy. No, 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 no. How about we try and add? Oh, I knocked it down. We're a little bit too nimble for it, despite the fact that it's a hound. Use an add again. Nice, there we go. Right, so we're gonna get a trophy, a wild hunt hound trophy. Beautiful. Not sure what benefits that will bring us, but we shall check it out and find out. Okay, picture of road from Holofern's Meisdorf. Right, so what does the trophy from the Wild Hunt... Is that it equipped now? It normally also equips, doesn't it? 5% chance to find additional herbs. Not really what I want, to be honest. Uh... Probably prefer the experience to be honest. Yeah, I think it's more more useful to me. Like I, I don't get me wrong, the herbs are useful, but not as useful as experiences in the long run. Right now that's done. We need to uh, go and get our reward. A, a fucking wild hunt hound though. That's so like left field for what it was. Oh, hello there. Are your chickens being stolen by any chance? Or hens, sorry. What you mean it. As if the war weren't enough, sir. I'm losing me eggs. How am I to live, eh? She looks exactly like the widow that, that got me to investigate the, uh... monsters taking me chickens! The monster in the fields, the wraith. I can help you. I can help you. Not for free. But you're advanced in years, so I won't ask too much. Not much, he says, but you'll take me liver come the end. Well, do you want help or not? Well. Honestly, me end. my time is valuable, you know. Always take one at a time, vermin. One at a time? Interesting. Okay. Monsters leave any tracks? Aye. Prince of Wolf paws, but strange like. As if the wolves walked on their hind legs. Could be a werewolf. And don't you be like that wise ass Yossip from Down Warren tells me I'm mistaken. But few know beast tracks like I do. Me man with the best poacher for miles around. I see. I'd still like to examine the prince myself. Ideally, yes. So empty coop. Find out what's stealing the old woman's chickens using our witcher senses. And this is a oh, this doesn't even give me a level, actually, this one. Okay, an old woman in Velen asked her of an unusual favour. Some time ago, her, her hens had gone missing from her hen house. Based on the track she had found, the woman suspected some two-legged creature with wolf-like paws was responsible. Geralt decided to investigate this mysterious being. Right, let me go and get the reward first for the appearing phantom. And then I'll check out this empty coop issue. 
And here I was planning to go to Novigrad and then all manner of things just started. So this is the Honeyfield Mead Works, this is the uh, the grounds. Did you drive off the phantom? That we did. Your Iberian phantom was a hound of the wild hunt. Eternal fire. Hounds run with the wild hunt. Oh, wild. yes, they do. About two weeks back, I woke suddenly in the night, saw the hunt streaking across the sky. Hound must have gotten separated then. Couldn't go back, so it hid in the empty house. It's hardly compensation for your losses, but at least the hound won't destroy any more hives. Thank you, Witcher. It's true. Nothing like hiring a specialist. Pleasure doing business. There we go. Enough for today, boys. Let's go home. With a big day tomorrow, let's rebuild the hives the hound destroyed. 249 crowns. Nice. Okay, so where were we? Empty, empty coop. So I need to go and find out what's uh, stealing, stealing the chickens. Very odd quest. Not quite as strange as the frying pan quest, but it's up there. Got a merchant here, though. First, first things first. Greetings. Greetings. Uh, so he sells. He sells a great. So he sells great runes. Nice. Tempting. Very tempting. I'm not gonna lie. But I think we want to um, sell our other items first, don't we? Because we've got a, got a lot of them. Flowers, oxides, razors. Yep. There we go. That will do me just fine. Let me start getting rid of some of these books, actually, as well. Uh, but to be fair, no, they don't actually take up any uh, any weight, so it's not too troublesome. Okay. Now, where... Oh, here we go. Oh, got some tracks right. here. No, something's not right. Something's not right. Do we follow the wolf's tracks away? Guessing we do. Here we go. Uh. Wolf prints and small footprints next to them. No signs of struggle. Little footprints. Interesting. That's very strange. Please don't tell me a child has turned into has turned into a werewolf. Unless it's a child who's who's wearing like wolf things on their feet. I don't know if that even makes sense, but oh this is right, this looks this looks suspicious. A soldier. A soldier, yes, yeah, sure. Not gonna hurt you. Then why are you here? That captain with the black mustache send you. A captain with the black mustache. Don't know any captain. Follow the tracks of the hen stealing monsters here. <laughs> You're a little fuss over a few skinny hens. The old lady didn't like him much anyway. She were always yelling at him. And she looks like a witch. Fucking charming. Why are you kids here? Why are you in the woods? Where are your parents? Soldiers caught him. We was crossing the river, but they spotted us. We ran, but mum and dad had bags. Told us to flee. Lived in the woods alone ever since? Sure. Find a lot of things. Steal a few others. We get by just fine. Where'd the wolf prints come from? Where'd the wolf prints come from? Darwin's hunted down a wolf. Gave each there we go. I got it. I deciphered it. Tied him to our shoes. Cause wolves steal hens, right? Sure. Usually not one at a time, though. So you just completely threw the woman, th threw the woman off, off, off the trail. You survive by stealing from others. This can't end well. You should yeah, ask someone for so, At one point, it's someone will find you and catch you. Us. Once we've got all the hens. Well, there was an orphanage in Crookback Bog, but yeah. Where animal hides, so a tent out of leaves. I'd never grow up. Hmm. Last bits, most likely. Yeah. I guess. And watch out for yourself. Yeah. Don't get yourselves into any uh, any trouble. Oh, we can try and convince the the old woman to take in the children. Well, if she finds out that uh, that they've been the ones that have uh, been stealing her hens, I don't know how. Happy she's going to be about that idea. Is this, uh, was this the house? Oh, 
Oh well. Are you guys just constructing this place into something or other, I'm guessing? Oh, fair enough. Well, I hope that goes well. Right, let's go and speak to the woman. I'm not sure how well this is going to go, but we can try. We can try our utmost. That was a weird little sound effect there. What happened there? It was like a, that sounded like I just cast a sign, but I definitely did not. Weird. Okay. Okay, miss. Hop over your wall there. Hey, Witcher. What is it? Uh, I found the thieves. Found a group of kids in the woods. They were the ones stealing your hens. Oh, children, eh? Riding on the backs of wolves, were they? Never any wolves here. The kids are just clever. If they've anything in their noggins, they'll stay away from me and house now. Give them a home, likely to stop stealing then, Take yeah. Them in. Give them a home. Won't steal from you then. Sure, but I'll be feeding the whelps. I'll gain nothing from it. But suppose I'll give it some thought. Thank you, miss. That is that completed. Nice. We check completed. Where where is the empty cube quest? How many quests we've done already in this game? Jesus Christ, it's crazy. Okay, so maybe in the future we can come back here and maybe we'll find out what happened to the kids. I don't know. We'll see. We will see, won't we? Um. Well, there's one more undiscovered location here as well as a notice board, so we'll go and check that out, why not, and then before we head into Novigrad. I swear, we will be in Novigrad eventually. I don't know how long it'll yeah. take, but we'll, we'll, we'll get there. I promise. At some point, we'll make it. We'll, we'll make it in. We might get kicked out by Redania with the, with the, with the trouble, the, with the trouble we, we might cause, but you know. The Dancing Windmill. When the Coronel's grandfather, the famous dancer Pablo Sugar Sasco, ended his career, he settled here and organised nights of dancing for the nearby peasantry. Supposedly, these revelries became so fashionable that dung booted peasants were dancing around with members of Novigrad's most elite families and adventure seeking urban dandies. Nicely done. Well, at least, uh, at least he made. Made just, I was going to say, at least it created a few nights of entertainment for these uh, for these folks, I suppose. What do you think in this windmill? Oh, I can't go in there, so probably not. All right, as we were. This isn't Roach. Again, I really need to stop stealing other people's uh, horses. It's it's not healthy, and it and it won't end well in the long run. Don't mind me. This is this is quite a peaceful area of Velenus, actually, uh, apart from this. Is this a monster nest? Oh, it's a bandit camp. We haven't fought some bandits in a while, so... I am so sorry. I am... Je I am very sorry to, to cause you such uh, inconvenience there with my, with my actions. I, I do apologise. Got bits and pieces there, some assault gauntlets it said. I mean, they look nice, they're not very good, but they look nice. And this little town to the southwest here has a notice board of some description, so let's have a look in there, and then we'll probably end the episode and potentially go to Novigrad after that, or maybe we'll even uh, do whatever quest we get from this notice board, we will see. Depends on what this what this place uh, serves up to us. Almas or Almes. Ah, oh, we don't have a marker for it yet. I'm sure I'm sure we will in a second. There we go, Almas. There we go. Um, until recently, this was a thoroughly unremarkable village. Then the then the Vegelbuds began organizing their famous horse races here, granting Almas the enviable honor of hosting the region's most prestigious equestrian con con contest. Ah, so we might be able to do some horse racing here. We're not done. We're not done horse racing in in a bit of time. So, 
Uh, what can we gather from these houses? There's basically nothing in here. There's, no, there's honestly nothing. I've, did everyone hear I was coming and just, just, just like lock away their goods? Oh no. Not everybody. Not everybody. The wonders of Zedekania. And then we got the one more house before the notice board house. Can't even go in that one. Okay. Alright, let's look at the let's look at the notice board then. After the after we go in this house, of course. Hello. Got an apple. We must have so much food in our in our inventory. Like I'm 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 literally the out there buying water and stuff. We probably have so many other types of food that we haven't even touched yet. Like those dumplings. I don't think we've touched dumplings in god knows how long. Right. Like I said, the notice board, what have we got here? <clears throat> oh, there's nothing too exciting here actually. Looking for an experienced gardener to work on the transitioning my park's design uh, from the Sumerian style to the North Guardian. Oh, you traitor. I fled here from Velen, haven't got nothing to eat, will do anything at all, that'll earn me a bowl of something hot, even if it's porridge. Fair play. Wait, what, he wants to work for himself. I'm eager to hire some honest and hardworking fit, uh, men fit for hard work around the farm who aren't afraid to get dirty, starting immediately. Folk, watch out for them vagrants from Velen. For every man, every man jack of them's a thief, a layabout, a slob, and a fool. I took a few on his field hands, but instead of pulling weeds, they dug up bulbs and ate them raw, which of course made them sick as dogs. So if any of that lot comes by your place, chase them with a fat stick. <laughs> Looking to hire a qualified beekeeper, my apiary counts 20 hives, and it's all too much for one man. Competitive pay. My family's recently entered the cheese making trade. I need vendors who can promise to buy bulk quantities of my goods. Note that my cheeses will delight even the most refined of Novigrad palates. That's that's a, that's a bold claim. There, there 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 is some refined palates around. You know, they're like they are refined palates. Like if you if if you get the ultra uppity people, you'll struggle. Alright, I'm going to save the game here because I have a bad feeling about this hill. Whenever I see a hill like this, it makes me think of like an, of a nest. Oh, it's a place of power. Ooh. Ooh, I... Yep. Here we go. Place of power. Draw from it. Yeah, damn right. There we go, one ability point. Beautiful view from here as well, it must be said. Really, really nice view. Uh, and let's upgrade once again our precise blows. Since we uh, have that applied, we might as well make the most of it. Right, so I think on that note, guys, we are actually going to end the episode here. So thank you all very much for watching. I do hope you all have enjoyed. If you have, then please do like, comment, subscribe, and share. And next episode, we'll head into Novigrad. Uh, yeah. So thank you very much for watching. Once again, I'll catch you in the episode of The Witcher 3. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye-bye.